Hello students, here we have uh, problem number 25 uh, from chapter 7. So here we have a small particle of mass, M is given, which is pulled to the top of the frictionless half cylinder of radius R by a light cord that passes over top of the cylinder as illustrated in the figure. Now, assuming the particle moves at constant speed, V is constant, okay? Shows that F is equal mg cosine theta. Note, if the particle moves at, at constant speed, the component of its acceleration tan tangent to the cylinder must be zero at all the time. So in part B, we have to find, the, by directly integrating, find the work done in moving the particle at constant speed from the bottom to the top of the half cylinder. Now let me draw it, the picture. So we have here a half cylinder. Okay. It has a radius. It has a angle theta. Okay. Now suppose that we have ball here. Now the ball is pulled by the by the court. Okay. By a light court. Okay, so that one has, there is a force applied to pull this <coughs> small cord, which has a mass M. Okay. Uh, in part A, we have to prove that uh, F is equal mg cosine theta. That's what we have to prove it. Now let's have a look and see what kind of uh, forces we have on this small ball, okay? Uh, now first of all, we have applied force, okay, which is F. This is our applied force, this is the same. Then what we have, we have Mg, which is the weight of the ball. Then what else? We have the normal force, right? Now, since we know that this theta will be the same as this theta, okay? So therefore, we have to resolve this our mg into two components. One component will be this one, which will be mg cosine theta then this component will be mg sine theta okay now we know that it's a frictionless surface um, we also know that the condition here is that v is constant okay now if v is constant then we know that acceleration is equal to zero now tangential acceleration means which is, is this this acceleration okay tangent to the surface so this acceleration is equal to zero because v is constant if that's the case then let's write down the equation so using newton's second law we know the sum of the forces let's say this direction uh, okay uh, so since it's moving uh, with constant speed, we can say the sum of the forces is equal to ma, right? Now, our sum of the forces, in this case, what we have here. So, suppose if we say that this direction as a positive and the velocity is moving in this direction with constant velocity, then we can say that uh, F applied force minus mg cosine theta which is equal to ma now we know that when the v is constant then acceleration is zero so therefore it's equal to zero then we can simply say that f applied will be equal to mg cos theta now we have proven that uh that this formula it's indeed a true formula for for this case okay now in the part B, in the part B, we will have to find, in part B, we have to find uh, 
that by integrating it, work is equal integer of f times dr. Uh, find the work done in moving the particle at constant speed from the bottom to top of the half circle. So we have to find how much work is done in order to move this is initial to the top up to here which is final. Okay, so here initial to the final. Now, let me draw this picture again uh, to make it more clear. So if you have a half cylinder, okay, so yes. then if you want to move the object with small dr, then what we have? Okay, uh, so let me continue first. So that is equal initial final. Now our f was, is we already found it from here which is f is, is, is equal to mg cosine theta times dr, okay? Now, dr means the displacement, which is very small, okay? So, if you look at here, if object, I'm trying to enlarge this place, okay? If you try to move very small distance, let's call it dr, very small distance, which is has angle of very small d theta okay then we have here r then how can we find the dr so if object is moved at very small distance dr which is equal to r times d theta okay so that means we want to here integrate from theta initial is equal to to zero up to from the top, which is theta final will be equal to pi over two, okay? So if I continue, then we can say that integer of mg cosine theta times dr is equal to r times d theta. Initial, this is final. So then we can say that it's equal to integer r mg cosine theta d theta so as i said we're going to integrate from zero till the pi over two okay so after the integration what we're going to have if you bring out from the integration we will have uh, r m g then then after that we're going to have a uh, cosine integration of the cosine will give you sine theta and the values will be from 0 to pi over 2. Now if you do calculation then you will see that rmg now sine pi over 2 will give you a 1 and sine 0 will give you 0. So at the end, you're just going to end up with R, M, G, okay? So the work is equal R, M, G. This is how you're going to solve such a problem.